By saying, well, compliments of the season to you, sir. Yes, indeed. What have you been up to in recent times since the last time we met? Uh, yeah, I've been, I've been keeping on keeping on uh, because um, I found my sense of purpose a long, long time ago. So I'm always moving in that direction. I'm a resolute, so I don't do yeah, I was. resolutions. I'm a resolute. Yeah, resolute, so you don't yes. do. I don't you, do. You just live your life. Time. Yes. On and on like that. Yeah, I already doesn't... have my purpose. Yeah, so you don't uh, need to be redefining yeah, it every it's laid year. laid out right in front of me, so I keep going. So I've been busy uh, doing what you know I can do um, with my art. Um, I'm representing, you know, the Pan African ideology, uh, the essence that you know Africans generally need to coordinate, connect with each other, uh, because we have to reach the African Renaissance. Okay. We've been down as underdogs for too long, over five centuries. That's a big shame. It's very embarrassing. So we need to wake up. You know, after physical slavery, we, we just got ourselves into mental slavery and colonialism, neocolonialism and all that. And right now it's even self-colonialism that is going on. Because it's our ill can't, you know, cane that our kit and cane are the ones who are even oppressing us directly now. Um, it's like a Mickey Mouse government we have all over Africa puppets you know of babylon puppets of the invaders the imperialists the imperialists are still in control even despite the so-called independence i actually don't see it as independence like in free dumb you know so the essence freedom is not even what we are operating we are operating as free dumbbells free dumb d-u-m-b uh -huh. it's the white people that are operating with freedom free D O M. So we we've, we've allowed ourselves to be full and pushed along for too long. We disparage our culture, tradition, everything. We are so confused. We worship foreign gods. We are worshiping Igbo God. You understand? We are the only race. Chinese we worship their own. Indian we do their own. Japanese the same thing. You understand? And they are making progress. Look at Korea. See Korea just down down here now. They're producing things. Africa is not producing anything. So all this, you know. It's always in my vein, you know. So I keep trying my best. Um, when I see people, whoever they are, age is just a number. So not only the youth, you know, I profess my ideology. I'm coming from, you know, the foundation that Fela, Nicola Pokuti has laid. Fela was my mentor. You know, we all come to this world. We met people before us. And we have mentors, progenitors in the first place. Then mentors and heroes or icons or idols. The best thing to do is learn from them, take from them, don't worship them. I don't hero worship. So, and don't get influenced. No, you have to get inspiration. So when you get inspiration, you start with the observation. Observation starts with stage. That's when you try to learn, you seek knowledge, you observe your environment, observe you know people ahead of you, what they are doing. Then people you admire, you observe what they are doing. Then when you leave observation, you get inspiration. After inspiration, you now have obligation to your society. So you have to do something. You have to contribute. In no matter how little a means you have. Because we are all here for a purpose. We have reasons. We have stages and rages to go through. And we have sequence of events you know, that we go through in our life, in our destinies. So we need to take each one at a time, one step at a time. But we have to have a dream. We have to have set goals so we can go somewhere. Africa is not in that situation. Situation, that's where we are in till now. Because we get miseducated. The educational system was put down by the colonialists. It was set up as education for servitude. So they have effectively trained good slaves. So that's why we remain inferior in our mentality, in our minds and purposes. We, we, we act like inferior beings. Our women, 99% of them, straighten their hair. Some bleach skins, even some men bleach skins. You understand? Straighten hair. Put Brazilian hair, Peruvian hair. It's only African women that, you know, glorify other people's nature. We are in this environment. This, 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 this um, what do they call it? The tropics or something. It's warm. Then we dress in three-piece suits. Imagine, uh, can you picture an European wearing boba and shukudu like me in winter? They will send him to the asylum. That means he's crazy. But to us, we are looking fine. Somebody wearing suit, now everybody will say, sa, sa, sa. They give extra respect to a stupid person. 
a stupid personality. Uh, it's, it's not personal. You get what I'm trying to say. So all this every day, every day movement in my life. I'm checking, I'm looking at people, I'm, you know, talking to people and sometimes I get depressed, I get really upset, I feel embarrassed, but I'm a totally, fully blown, proud African, proud Nigerian, because this is where the universe put me. I have an assignment, so I will never dream of relocating anywhere. I can't live anywhere else. I go, I come. I can't. I can't be a second class citizen, because I'm a king in my own palace here. We are all supposed to be princes and princesses, kings and queens. You understand? Then we, we, we go to other people's shores because we're acting like stupid people. Those people fix their place. Every race, everybody has problem. So you just fix your problem. If you don't fix your problem, you leave it down for 1,000 years, you come back, it will still be there. That's not progressing. So after all the running away, oh, so you expect other people to fix the problem for you so you can come back. You, you, you understand? So I keep I keep working. I've had exhibitions in the last uh, couple of years. Every every year I have I have a show going on. Um, last year I was in Amsterdam, you know, to represent for collaboration. I had a talk, you know, I made a lot of contacts. Um, I'm preparing now. They're working towards either I come in March or May for uh, it's a, a residency program. Um, two years ago I was in Australia to represent for um, uh, collaboration. Same two years ago, I was at Artex. I had, you know, this curate, curated project. I had a talk, and young people who have never heard about me before, you know, they just, well, I've made so many friends now, and I'm preaching, I'm talking to them. Uh, last year, I was also at Artex. I had my own solo exhibition, also with Bloom Gallery. And I'm always working. This year, we just 10 days in the year. My new work is out. Files. Has okay a social conscious album coming out and i've been hoping i've been looking forward to this and you know one thing whenever i need something i desire it so much so so much in my soul the universe will always provide it two years ago 2016 i was in london um under the auspice of the british library they had this big event uh, west africa exhibition um they were showcasing um, music art and literature from west africa and nigeria being the biggest place so they invited three main personalities for each you know each, each item uh Wally Shinka, professor Wally Shinka was invited for the literature part um two faces dba uh, two baba was invited for the music uh, because they had a fellow brochure segment too uh, 2016 and i was invited for the art and i was with two faces uh, two baba for five days with his manager and you know as i started talking you know to them you know, like the music scene has to change that you know the content i'm happy that the fact for the first time we have a musical identity for nigeria global the afrobeats i don't care the appellation because that's how our people do we are not ready to make any move we don't take the first step we don't you know you we don't bother then when oyibo will now take the step for us then we now start to blab the broadway show that's how people we are blabbing and they don't they are not speaking pretty english well these are I told them, go and do your own. If for you both didn't do that, we would be even showcasing fella with respect now. You understand? So, Afrobeats or whatever, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It doesn't matter. The important thing is there, there is a tag now. So, they are identifiable. So, we can know from Nigeria, this musical form is Afrobeats. You understand? Good. But my, my issue, the message, the lyrical content, it's mostly trash. It's just jollof rice rubbish every time. Because they are, you know, the young people are looking up to America. The, our cousins in the US, the African American, so called black people, I me, mean, I'm not a black man anyway, I'm an African. Because black is even not a race. We are the only people that allow ourselves to be labeled so that they can, you know, oppress our, us mentally. So those people, rather than even look, set their minds to Africa, the motherland, the homeland, to coordinate connect network with and build come and invest all those people who make so much stupid money what do they do with the money they buy blink they are buying big cars and champagne and in a few years they go bankrupt you see the jewish white man who make money invest in their own community take over at times is the jews that control the economy in america even the entertainment industry 
it's run by Jews. Hollywood, everybody, everywhere. You understand? Oh, those people went to through um, what they call it. What what they did to them in Hitler's uh, time, um, they almost exterminated them. So, um, Holocaust. They went through the Holocaust. So, what excuse do we have? We went through slavery for f over five hundred years. We are still, you know, not coordinating ourselves. You understand? So, I, you know, it's it's just it's just embarrassing. You get. So, our young people here, they are trying to copy all those ones that they don't even know what they are doing with their life. They want to be a blink. You know, you are chasing a get 30 billion in your account. You, what kind of falsehood is that projecting in society? And you see what's happening now. Young people are so desperate to make money. They are going to ritual killing. One young man, 19 year old guy, killed his mom in Benin. <clears throat> and I was having sex with a dead body because he went to a ritualist and that's what the ritualist told him so he can make money. Because every day the music is saying money, 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 money. Girl, girl, girl. Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. You understand? It has to stop. So, two years ago, I made the attempt, you know, to to, to you know, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. Lo and behold, about almost two months now, my agent just called me and said, "Ah, uh, let me. Files want to see you. That he said he want to see you. I said, oh, really? I said, okay, let him come. And he came, and we started talking. And I said, oh goodness. I said, I know the universe will bring this. I said because I've been waiting for this for years. I said, I'm living for this moment that we have to start a new movement. We have to take over this thing. But it's not a fight. We just need to present an alternative viewpoint. Every society that makes progress, you, you have to have more than one viewpoint. Everybody, your bad people say, Bobo, you're the least. So, call this or not connect. So, it's not a fight. It's not a quarrel. We want to present our own viewpoint. It should be Christian Day, Muslim Day, and traditional religions. They are not, you understand, they are not coordinated, organized in that way. If they are conscious people, they too need to put themselves right on the map. So, so let's have three main religions then. You understand? Because how can we throw away our own? And then we have, we are worshipping our, 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 our slave masters, religion. You understand? We are worshipping Oyibo God. And Oyibo is the one that put us in this situation that we, we've been in. To the level that we now start operating that situation by ourselves. We are like one toys, you know. The one toy, you know, when you wind the toy, you leave it, it starts to go. It will go blue and hit its head against the wall. Oh, that's what has happened to our mind. Do you understand? So, lo and behold, I listened to Fauzi's songs. You know, from the first time I heard that this is Nigeria, I first heard the original, this is America. A, a journalist friend called me and said, Sir, go and listen to this song. By Chan, uh, Childish Gambino, I never heard of anybody called that. I went to YouTube and then when I had this, so I said, Whoa, inside me, I'm wishing that hey, hey, this is the kind of thing our young people need to be doing, especially what is going on in the society. This society is messed up, so how can we pretend not to be involved? You know, how can we just fold our arms and be feeling good? We are taking champion, want to buy Maserati Bugatti, you understand? and you're talking about billions. What kind of is that not part of the corruption in the society? You understand? Because you are misleading people with a falsehood, false sense of, you know, like um, false sense of what, what did I say now? Um, uh, false sense of reality. Uh, uh, reality. You get. So you're leading the youth astray more and more. You get. Yeah. So I listen to the songs okay. and I say yes, I'm right here. I said because. Beds of the same feather has to flock right. together. So, yeah, I found a bed of the same feather. Yes, it's a natural phenomenon. It's not a fight. It's not a quarrel. I, I, I don't. But right now, I don't care whose sensibility is affected. It's affected by their own notion, because the intention is not to affect anybody's sensibility. That's the kind of character I am as a person. And I've seen the young man. He looks like he has some of my character, because he's very humble and very respectful. I'm telling you, I'm, I meet these young people sometimes because they are so confused. They want to behave like a Oyibo, Oyibo culture. You know, sometimes they don't show the desire respect to elders like we do in Africa. But this young man, Faust, ah, I'm looking like, ah, oh, 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 this guy has a good home training. Uh, but you know, home training is subjective though because sometimes we are old souls. Some of us are old souls. You train yourself. 
Yo ba people we won't say it now. We talk about here. Koyon li. I I don't like Koyon. So he has good good nature. He's humble. He's charismatic. And most of all, he's intelligent and knowledgeable. It was yesterday. I saw the date he wants to release the album. January 15. How many of these young uh, 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 Jollof Rice boy know what that date intends for Nigeria? January 15 is the day of the first military coup. I, uh, he's, a, he's coming here today. I will give him a special hug. When I saw January 15, I said, wow. You understand? That's what we are talking about because knowledge is power, they say. But I say knowledge applied is powerful. So we need to have knowledge first and foremost. We need to be educated. I don't mean school. School is they are teaching you to be literate and then to be good civil servants to the colonialists. But education, you find yourself, you seek knowledge, get information, you understand? So you learn and you know what you are talking about. So when you hear this guy's lyrics, you know that he knows what he's talking about. This is not just doing a, a root boy, area boy. No. All his lyrics, even the the commercial lyrics that he's been shining out, he, last his last um, most recent album, twenty seven. See that song, Omuluabi, Child of Circumstance. Oh, they, uh, I forgot the title, Child of Something. That he, he, he talked about the HIV thing and all that. And look, look at lyrics. When I listen to, it, I say, whoa, you understand? Look at the last video. I saw that uh -huh. on the bridge. Yeah. Yes. So I said yes because music art. Any gift that you have, you are supposed to use it to edify, to to promote positivity in your society. You understand? Because look at look at what we are so over religious, yet morality is gone out of the window. Corruption is all over the place. Yet everybody is calling Jesus God, Allah, Muhammad every minute. You understand? Everybody's going to church or mosque or whatever. And the minds are not pure. There's no morality anymore. You get? And there's no even knowledge. So I, I say, fools die. There's a Peter Touch song called Fools Die. It says, the lips of the righteous teaches many, but fools die for lack of wisdom. So let us be the teachers. It's not a crowd. It just takes an individual to set a nation free. We've not got into that road yet. So that's why I don't vote. I'm not interested in the election. And Forget it when I tell you, when you say you don't vote, you say, ah, eh, you people are part of the problem because your vote uh, can determine. I say, your vote doesn't determine nothing. Already, this coming election has been rigged. It has been rigged. Either they buy the vote or whatever. Is it not rigging? They are ready. You understand? So, what, what your vote, where is your vote counting? I'm not being pessimistic. That's the reality. I'm a realist. The moment I see a great leader, in these climbs, I will be the first to go and line up and say, ah, this is this is him. The only time ever I voted or registered in my life was 1993, June 12th uh, uh, saga, Hope 93. Why? I saw presidential candidates having debates, talking about what plans they have for the country. When last did you see that in this country? You understand? Debates. Let's see if they will do debates uh, this year now. Abiola was doing debates with Tofa, with no King Gibe, all of them. I watch because me, I'm a very knowledgeable person. And I listen, and Abiola had this, you know, plans and so on. He even talked about somebody, even, you know, this modern time is really beautiful. Uh, about five days ago, somebody sent a short video of uh, Abiola, Abiola where he was talking about some of his plans. And there he even said, you know, we will not borrow money from IMF. Or this world bank people that we need to organize ourselves and talk. You know, he's a business man. And he talked. Why what decided me then? He got to the level that he said we'll seek reparation for the slavery. That is what the Jews did after Holocaust. Africa. We've never been bold enough. You know, we're just feeling like chicken. Because we have blood clot inferiority complex, like the Rastas will say. You understand? Blood clot inferiority complex. So Abela said that. And I said, eh? Man, you saw a reparation. You understand? I said, oh, okay. And I said, okay, I, I was on the vote. Okay, what happened? Where is the, the thing? You understand? Yeah. Aha, it didn't happen. And even his killing self, I suspect those Babylon people could have a hand. Because for a leader to talk like that, any leader that will say, you see what they did to Gaddafi? How they took him off? 
when they saw that this man they don't want him to be a, a, a big example for others to start emulating you know they just started character assassination babylon is very good at that very good at that and they confuse our people so easily because our people are very ignorant that time they were trying to kill Gaddafi, I was upset and people were looking at me like, what? What is you there? I said, Queen of England has been there 60 years. What does the Queen do? Taxpayers' money. You understand? Nobody is saying it's too... That's character assassination. You see what ignorance can cause for a race. The ignorance, they Im embedded in us. Peter Tosh used to say that Africa have been inoculated with inferiority complex. You know, when they inoculate, what you want to go to Kama You understand? So that's the thing. So I'm, I'm, I'm who I am. I'm walking. And I'm happy right now uh, because this year, they go here. They go here and went, like Fela used to say. The scene is going to change. It's going to change. Because this first album will be a landmark. Hold you on. understand? Hold that's on. a new movement.